So let's start with a uh, simple example document that fits on one slide. We have a heading, we have a single section, we have some uh, formula, some inline formula that are part of a paragraph text flow. Uh, we have some displayed equations that interrupt a paragraph, but then the paragraph continues afterwards. So these are equations that are centered and spaced apart a little bit to highlight them. And we have a reference section that is automatically numbered. And you can see here there are meta commands available, uh, so-called macros. They all start with a backslash at the start of a LaTeX document. You first have to declare a document class. So LaTeX is a sort of base package, but in order to actually use it, you have to tell it what type of document you use. And there are several standard types, for example, article, report, or book available. An article is something that has the heading on the same page where the, uh, where the text starts, whereas a book and a report will have a separate title page. And the main difference between book and report is that they're slightly different conventions. So for example, the front meta before the actual text starts in a book is uh, numbered separately in Roman numerals, whereas in a report, everything starts on the cover page with uh, page number one. Then you can see there is a syntax for starting and ending a what's called an environment. Uh, we have here backslash begin in curly braces document. And at the end, there's backslash end document. We also have here backslash begin the bibliography, backslash end the bibliography. So this is a little bit like the start tag and end tag of an HTML element that you might know from uh, web pages where you give a, a named type to a region of the text, but under the hood, um, there is a macro that's being called at the start and there is a macro that's being called at the end of these environments and they also form a lexical namespace, which means uh, certain changes that you make inside such an environment will not have any effect outside. Then we have a couple of macros to just set certain internal variables. We specify here a title, an author, a date, and then we call the macro make title to actually output that date. Um, I use a few more commands to slightly style the page. For example, I don't want, because it's a single page, I don't want a page number down here. So I select a page style called empty that says this page doesn't actually have a page number. And then a similar macro uh, section starts a new section, increments a section counter by one, and it knows what spacing to use above and below a section title, how much indentation, what font size to use, and so on. Paragraphs are separated by empty lines. Um, and here you can see you can type normal text, but you can also access all kinds of special characters uh, with macros in the middle of the text that start with a backslash. You can start inline equations with a start and a end dollar sign, with backslash opening square bracket and uh, closing square bracket, you can here um, you can start a displayed equation. Um, there's a cite macro available where you cite a reference with a alphanumeric identifier, and LaTeX will then automatically number all the references and which also have the same alphanumeric identifier and replace these with numbers, so you don't have to manually maintain uh, this renumber anything here. 